Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Vicky from Performing Arts Academy Wales and we're back for another vlog. So this weekend we're off to Portsmouth and we're competing at the Southern Dance Class Awards. I love this competition. It's such good practice for the kids for like auditions and workshops and things like that. And I actually watched an interview with Abby Lee Miller recently and she was saying that part of the reason that Maddie always used to get loads of solos was because she could comprehend the choreography really quickly. She's so right, like it's such an invaluable skill for dancers. Professional dancers, when you go into an audition, any audition, even people auditioning for dance colleges and things like that, like you have to be able to comprehend the choreography quickly. And even for me, like when we're working on our routines for Dance World Cup and even show work, like the quicker you can comprehend that choreography, the quicker you get that choreography, then we can start polishing and working on other things rather than having to keep going back over the same things. Like it's just an invaluable skill. And this competition is amazing. So they do a tap workshop, a ballet workshop and a jazz workshop and they go off and they learn a routine. Well, this is how it ran last time, so I assume it's gonna run the same. They go off and they learn a routine, they come back into the main room and they've all got numbers on, and then they dance it in front of the judges. They add on to the routine first, I think, in front of the judges, and then they cut them and then they do a final, or they only add on when it's the final. I can't quite remember which way around it is, but it was such a great competition last year and everyone loved it. It's one of those competitions where it, it kind of doesn't really matter if you win, because like they only place one to five and there's, so many people in there and that's not really what it's about like it is a competition but it's more a learning experience and it's just so great for choreography and to learn from different teachers is another just invaluable thing as well when you go to like pre-professional schools and colleges like you have loads of different teachers and yeah some teachers you're gonna love some teachers you're not gonna like but you kind of have to get on with it if you're in a professional contract and you don't like the choreographer what are you gonna do? You have to just get on with it and you make the best of it. So it really is like a great opportunity for everyone because I obviously run, run a dance school so I have a lot of the kids get taught by me but we do have a lot of teachers and it is really important to have all these experiences. And even people who don't go on to dance, you have to work with different people all the time. You're not always working with the same person in life. So these are great opportunities for them. So tonight I've done a little bit of packing for Portsmouth. I'm teaching tomorrow till 5 p.m. And then I'm gonna head off down to Portsmouth. I'm gonna stay in a hotel tomorrow night because we're already there. And then we have to be at the venue for half past eight in the morning. <sighs> so good times. So hope you enjoy following us around. See you later. Hi Evie. Hello. We're at services. Yes. What have you got to eat? A Subway. Nice. Chicken sandwich. Marginally healthier than mine. <laughs> Oops. Oh well, we'll get there. What time is it? I don't know. 25 past 7. Not sure what time it took to arrive. We left at half 5. Yeah. Two but hours. We're, we're over halfway. Still two hours. Fine. We'll go straight to bed when we get there. Hey, we've arrived! Woo! Woo, 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 woo. We just got here. We had a bit of a stress on the yeah, motorway. Sat nav was not fun. <laughs> well, Evie was like sat nav for me because it didn't want to speak to us and then randomly spoke to us right at the end. Yeah. Um, but we were driving down and it was like. M27 closed junctions oh. 9 to 11 and I was like uh that's the way we're going and then we got to it and they were only just putting the curtains out so, so it was fine <sighs> good so it. good so we are here we have arrived it is quarter past nine quarter past nine right time. we're heading in we're gonna check in I will see you shortly because I know you want a tour of my room <laughs> <laughs> see you guys bye, bye. My room's massive. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Woo! Mine's identical. Look at this! I know. Is that like an extra little bed thing as well? Yeah, we totally could have got like some of the little ones in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm a bit gutted now, really sitting for one night. <laughs> yeah, it's <was> so nice. <laughs> oh, we can probably see. Which side are we on? Oh, no, my car's on the other side. What's the betting? The next weekend, where we're there for like three nights, it's gonna be tiny. It's not as nice. It's so small. <laughs> This is lush. Well done, Premier Inn. Well done. Ooh. I've just realised you're like reflected in the window. <laughs> Who 
doesn't want to get into that. Oh, I kind of wish we were here more than one night now. Look, oh, it's lovely. I'm gonna put my pajamas on and I will see you in the morning. Good night, guys. Lost my tea. <laughs> it's not in Evie's room and it's not in my room. Definitely took it out of the car. <sighs> I think I've left it in reception when we were checking in. It's <sighs> all too much. Oh, good job I hadn't already put my pajamas on. Good morning guys. I was like, I totally need to come and vlog in front of this makeup mirror because this is good lighting. This is good lighting. We call it a makeup mirror. It's probably more like a vanity mirror, but so many times you go to hotels and you're like, where am I supposed to do my makeup? So this is awesome. I want something like this in my house. I'm gonna have to message Julian, I think, because I definitely need a mirror like this. This is insane. So yeah, big it up the premiere in, but we're leaving in a minute and we're off to the competition. So we'll see you guys there. Bye. <laughs> favorite one so far? Yeah. yeah, so far, but I think Jasmine, maybe. Yeah, you did well in the ballet as well, didn't you? Yeah. Where did you come in ballet? Yeah. Woo -woo. So what have you got next? Jazz. Jazz. Lovely. Jazz. Oh, yeah. How have you done, Nia? Yeah. Where did you come in jazz? Yeah. Woo -woo. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. yeah. Hello, girls. Very Hello. red face this. How did the jazz go? Good. Good. Um, which was your favorite class today? Probably. All of them. Tap? Yeah. yeah. All of them. Yeah. Well done, girls. Happy? Yeah. Good day? Yeah. How'd you do in the tap? Got second. Yay. Lola's run off, but Lola got fifth. Hello. Just finished. So How was the jazz? Really good, really tiring, really fun now. Yeah, where did yeah. you come? There. It was really tough, wasn't it? Yeah, really hard. Which was your favourite one today? Tap, 100%. Yeah, you and Lola rock the tap. Just to finish off the day, Shreya won this. So I'll be giving it to her tomorrow. Done. Done. Home time. From Portsmouth now and we've just had such a great time at the comp I really hope you enjoyed following us round obviously we couldn't film the kids when they were dancing because I think they want to protect their choreography and stuff which is totally understandable and yeah we had such a great time I can't quite remember all of our placings but we placed in every genre and the guys did so well and it was amazing for Shreya to win performance awards at the end of the day I've posted all our stuff was up on Instagram have a little look for that if you want to know where we came oh, it was such a great thing about the comp because what happens is everyone is just giving it a hundred percent so everyone's pushing themselves like 
more than you normally would in a normal class because everyone's determined to get into the final and then if you get into the final obviously you want to place because they only place five people and these are massive sections everyone's really pushing themselves and just giving it their all and it's so lush to see and it's like with a normal competition you kind of go with a routine that you've been rehearsing for ages and yeah you go for it obviously this is just different because it's like all on you like it's not like it's a group dance where you can rely on other people it really is more like your audition experience if you were auditioning for pre-professional school or auditioning for a professional job it really is the best types of competitions that you can go to because even when people go to workshops uh like move it and can you dance and those kind of things like yeah everybody wants to do really well and enjoy the class and but this is just it's got that competitive edge it's just on another level and it's so great to see and it was so lovely to see the kids growing in confidence like the difference in my students between when we went last year to when we went this year was just insane what was also really lovely to see is that the kids really need to be all rounders at competitions like this because nowadays in the industry you can't just be one genre or one thing like they want you to dance they want you to sing they want you to act but even more than that you know when you go off to pre-professional schools and when you're auditioning for jobs that like you have to be able to tap you have to be able to do jazz you want to be able to do commercial you've got to be able to do this you and you've got to do ballet every day as we already know so it's really great to see the kids working that and being encouraged to work that as well so yeah anyway this is long enough a lot of me yapping but I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because next week is the one you've all been waiting for. <gasps> it's gonna be our Move It vlog. This Thursday, me, Evie and Nia, we're off to Move It. Friday morning, Tom and Izzy are gonna be joining us. I've got my kicks, turns and leaps class on the Friday. I'm doing a collaboration class with Prima Dancewear on the Saturday. And I got my jazz class on the Sunday. So I can't wait. Move it's going to be huge. So don't miss out on this video. Hit subscribe. It'll be up next Saturday. Thanks guys, bye. Plus I've got way too much makeup on, but it's because I'm going out tonight, so. Sorry team. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if, no, do you know what? I don't care about this.